Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. So last week I did my makeup for an event at work and I did not have the camera on or anything. I just got up and I needed to do a glam face and I really like the look. Um, I posted on Instagram or I will post it, whatever, around this video. My time frame is all screwed up. But anyway, um, and I knew that I might get asked to make a video and I just really enjoyed the look. It was a rose gold themed look and so I'm going to do that today. Um, and you'll tell by the thumbnail. So. I'm going to do that today. I think I remember most of the products that I used, but it was just, it was, in my mind, it was just like classic Candace. I love rose gold, glitter, metallic, like, uh, halo eye, cut cream, all of my favorite things put together in one look and still managed to look not over the top glam. I don't, let's just, let's just get into it. All right, let's just, let's just go ahead and do this. All right, y'all. So, um, I use a mishmash of products, nothing um, over the top of just grabbing in my collection. So, I go, went ahead and did my brows and I go, already primed my lids using my Urban Decay Primer Potion as per usual. Uh, I am going to go ahead and start with, um, my crease, uh, blending transition shades. And I'm going to use Pose and Headshot from the Morphe 9G palette because this is a new palette that I got and they, I needed to start using this palette anyway and they had some matte shades in here that will work with that look. That's that's what that is. So I'm going to go into uh, using a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into pose and headshot. I just alternate them with my brush, literally go in both at the same time um, and go ahead and build out my crease. I am going to um, add some some color to this situation. Uh, I'm going to go into this shade. It's magenta. It's just called Magenta by Coastal Scents. Um, and I'm going to put that over top of those two shades. But not as far out as I did. Um, not as far out as those two shades. But start to blend the, this magenta over top. depth I am going to go in a little bit more concentrated in this area of the crease down to the outer corner area and I'm going to use a plum I'm use a purple and this is called deep grape by coastal scents So I'm going to go ahead and cut my crease with uh, Tarte Shape Tape. This is actually going to be a January favorite. Um, I don't know if this video is going up before or after my January favorite. So it is a January favorite or it might be a January favorite. Or it will be a January favorite depending on when you're watching this video. Um, this I found the perfect use for this and it's to cut my crease. So um, I know I'm probably late to the game with that situation. Uh, but I'm going to use Tan Sand and um, cut my crease. Let's go. Quickly set that concealer um, with a nude shade in this Coastal Sense uh, Camo I Nude. Um, the only reason I'm using all Coastal Scents shadows is because I just pulled my large Coastal Scents palette out. That's all. Because it has a good variety of the shades that I want to use in this look. And that I did use. So I'm going to set that. And um, I am going to add my tape. Okay? And then I am going to cut this crease, add this tape. So I'll be back. Okay! We're now ready. <laughs> so, uh, for this halo eye, again, themes rose gold. So, the darker of the two shades I'm going in with is this uh, Morphe pigment, pressed pigment in Gossip Girl. So, I'm going in with that. Um, wet. So, I'm going to wet my brush. Um, and I'm going to put that on the outer and inner parts of the hair. You guys know. You guys, you guys know. You know. The 
this color is really pretty, but I realized it was not the color that I used in the initial look because it's a little bit lighter than that. So we're just gonna deepen this, deepen it up. I'm gonna go in with grab another one of these coastal scent shades. This is red stone, and I'm gonna go over what I put down with just a deeper red. Now, for the center love, I am bringing it back. L'Oreal Infallible, you guys. Amber Rush. You guys. You got best rose gold shadow ever. So I'm going to take that and, um, yeah, throw that right in the center of this eye. You guys. OMG. step is to add a little bit of glitter to the center because glitter is life you guys so grab your favorite rose gold glitter whatever tone of glitter um you have and i'm picking up a very very small amount and popping it in the center of the lid um try to spread it out <laughs> you know just keep it because yeah, we're gonna do glitter liner but I just want a little bit more sparkle in the center. And I'm going to take um, Amber Rush again, really lightly on a fluffy eyeshadow brush, really lightly, and just go ahead and highlight the brow bone. Just a smidge. That's not a word. Smidge is not a word. Smidge is not a word. It's really not. All right, my favorite part, liner. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm not even gonna try to do it on camera right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just do a black wing. Um, and then I'll show you what I use to add the glitter. So I'm gonna do a black wing. You can do it as thin or as thick as you want. Um, up to you. My cut crease is a little wonky here. <laughs> okay, so once you have your uh, black wing down, so what I did was I wanted to add more glitter, of course. More glitter. Always more glitter. So um, I went into, actually, my Lemonhead Space Paste in Mulholland. Um, it's a rose gold. This stuff is great. Um, stuff is awesome. So you don't need any glitter adhesive. You don't need any um, <laughs> mixing mediums or anything like that. And I'm using a liner brush. And I'm going to put this and draw a line over my black liner. Now, you can you can completely, like make your liner like cover the all of the black with this or you can allow bits of black to peek through just giving it a darker background and I like that and that's what I'm gonna do. I was gonna say I'm gonna put a nude liner in my waterline. I'm using the Remo Scandalize um, in nude. That's the color name, and I'm putting that in the waterline. We're gonna go ahead and take a grab our pencil brush and grab. Um, I'm gonna use this matte burgundy shade. This is scorched. Well, yeah, it's scorched red. Uh, by Coastal Sense, and I am going to, I can't find a pencil brush. Okay. Smudge this underneath the lower lash line. Alright, I need to add some lashes, because that's what I did last <laughs> That's what I did last time for this look. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. So I'm going to try some new lashes. I didn't wear these last time because I didn't have them. But these are the style Brianna um, by AOA Studio. These are um, the, sh the lashes I got from Shop Miss A. Um, and they were $1.55. And they look promising. Um, and I'm kind of pumped. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. Okay, so let's do some face. I'm gonna, um, <clears throat> the look, I really wanted to focus on the eyes. Like that was what I was really excited about. I did a, a glam face like I do any other glam face. Um, but I, for this sake of this video, I wanted to go ahead and use some new products while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about this. I do have the Tatcha one. Um, there are a lot of, uh, videos comparing it already. Um, so I'm just going to use it and then tell you how I feel about it in a review or something. But the whole half and half thing, I think it's kind of, kind of done. Um, I do have a small one of the Tatcha one. Um, and I got that in a sample. Um, Sephora, like a point perk or something. And I had it. And because people were raving about how awesome it was. Knowing I'd never buy the um, full size. <laughs> it's 50 bucks. So. So. I don't know. But, um, yeah. And the foundation that I wear, that I wore, um, last week did me well. And it's a favorite as well. Mac Studio Fix. Did I even show it? Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that again. Come on. And I didn't do very much, but very much is still a lot. I'm also using uh, my AOA sponge. I used one already, and I like it. I really like it. I used the one that just shaped like a beauty blender. So that one's dirty. I um, used that one already, and I got this, this shaped one. Um, which they feel the same, but I'm going to use this one today because it's not dirty. I'm going to put this studio fix. Okay, um, and for my concealer, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Butter Scotch. It's not really new. I didn't didn't want to wet a, a small one. I have a mini one too, but I didn't want to get back up to wet that one. So I'm gonna blend out my concealer with this big sponge and just cause it the point on it um is definitely not as pointy as a beauty blender to fit in. It's really like bulbous and but we're going to make it work because I'm not wetting another one. And I'm just going to use this one up. I'm going to set my under eye area. I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix in C8. Now, for powder, um, I think I use my Makeup Forever Super Matte or something like that, but I'm going to go ahead and try these pressed powders from AOA, so I'm not going anywhere. Um, I got two pressed powders, um, I got the shade Cafe. And I got the shade Chestnut. So, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Cafe, the darker one. Um, and this to set my face. This is the Real Techniques, the weird one. What is this called? The Rebel Edge Broad Brush. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, this powder smells like powder. Like, not baby powder, but just like, that, like, when you walk into a really dusty room. <laughs> so... But it looks pretty, so whatever. <clears throat> I'm going to contour with my Nika K contour. Nothing there. I've really been getting into my Black Radiance one, though. Back into my Black Radiance contour kit from... Um... What was I say from? I don't know. I've just been really getting back into that, so I am going to mention that. In the January favorites, because I've been using that one more than I've actually been using this one, which is great for my collection. 
wonderful for my collection. Um, Alright. So I'm going to put on my lower mascara and then we'll go to blush and highlight. Alright, I don't remember what blush and highlights I used when I did the look the first time, so it's now I can play in some new ones. Um, I've already been playing in these, but why not? So, I'm going to go into... Ooh, it's going to be tough because these are bright. Um, the AOA Studio Perfect Blush. I really should use a neutral blush, but I always do. Oh. Uh, let's just play. Let's just play. Um, right, I'll go into this one. This is called... Um, I actually already worn this one. So I'm just going to show you. It's probably going to be my favorite. It's called Auburn. And it's an orange. It's a matte. Um, it's matte orange. It's a matte orange blush. And it's gorgeous. So I'm going to do one tap. Pop it on. And if you do it lightly, you definitely see the peachiness in there. But it's not too much to um, mess with the rose gold on the eye. The pinky rose gold on the eye. You just got to... Do it lightly because you don't want to go Wrangling Brothers. I keep saying it, you know? So. Alright. Okay. Highlighter. I don't remember what highlighter I used. I want to do something in the um rose gold but a little bit deeper um, as far as a highlight. And I think I found what I want. And for the sake of using new things, I'm going to layer them. So, I'm going to go into this AOA Velour Highlighter with my finger. This is the shade uh, Clumsy. And I'm going to go ahead and take some of that and put it on my cheekbone. I mean, it's very pigmented. These, these creams, cream highlighters tend to pack a punch anyway. So I'm going to take my finger and put that on my, yeah, yeah, y'all already see. And I just grabbed this one because it looked similar. Um, clearly that's beautiful, beautiful. And again, for the sake of using things, I am going to top it off with um, one of the AOA powder highlighters, and this is in the shade Throne, okay? And it's a bit deeper, significant amount deeper than what I just put on, and I am just intensifying my highlight significantly, <laughs> and loving it. Do the nose, do the nails. Now for this lip when I did it I just went with a gloss because it was a long day and and I got time to be fooling around with your lipstick but for this video I'm gonna put on a lip because I have a new lip that I'm gonna play with. I have a couple of them. Um, these are the new Milani Satin matte liquid lipsticks. Um, oh, that one would be pretty. This one would be pretty too. I think I'm gonna go with the lighter one. All right, so I'm gonna go with the shade Indulge, and it's the lightest of the three that I have. I think I might like this formula. I mean, I like the way it goes on already, but as far as it's setting down and drying down, I might like it. <sighs> Let's spray the face and finish this off. And there we go. Yes, the birds are back. So, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in this video, feel free to leave it down below. I love you all, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!